President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi stressed keenness on enhancing the Egyptian ties with the European Union and boosting mutual coordination over the regional issues and challenges, as well as exchanging the joint cooperation in various domains. The President's remarks came during the foreign talks with the European Commissioner, President Ursula von der Leyen, where they discussed the repercussions of the coronavirus pandemic, especially the impacts on the energy and food security. For her part, the European Union official expressed the Union's appreciation for the strong relations with Egypt and its pivotal importance in Africa and the Middle East. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi instructed to expand the schemes on enlarging the use of the renewable energy in order to vary the energy resources. President al-Sisi's directives came during a meeting with Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli and the Minister of Electricity and Renewable Energy to follow up on the ongoing projects of the Ministry of Electricity across the country. The President also ordered to expand the wind power through high production electricity generation units. As for the green hydrogen power generation, the head of state directed to back the efforts regarding the growing international concern for this domain. Foreign Minister Samah Shukri, the head of the 27th round of the United Nations Party's to Convention Conference on the Climate Change, held summit talks with the European Union Commissioner, Executive Deputy, Head for the Climate Change, Franz Timmermans. The meeting comes within the Egyptian keenness on fostering coordination and consultation with the concerned parties over climate change impacts. Egypt will host the COP27 in Sharm el Sheikh Resort next November. Under the auspices of uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, the 22nd phase of uh, Kullina Wahid initiative continued. The Ministry of Interior announced that due to the high turnout on buying the products of the initiative, it will continue till the end of the holy month of Ramadan. The initiative aims at providing basic commodities and non-consumer goods at discounted prices that reach 60% in all the outlets across the country. Israeli occupation